Hi, my name is Yang. Uh, I'm a fifth year PhD candidate in CCEL, working with Leslie Calvin and Tomas Nozano Press in the Learning and Intelligence Systems Group. I'm solving multi-step mobile manipulation problems in geometrically complex environments such as your household kitchen or retail shops uh, using machine learning as well as task and motion planning. One of the projects I'm very excited about recently is to solve multi-step robot manipulation problems by composing diffusion models. So imagine a robot that's packing multiple objects into a luggage. It needs to decide where to place the object such that the gripper won't collide with the luggage or other objects inside. You need to decide for there might be other constraints such as I want the, the hard object not to be next to other hard objects such as the camera shouldn't be next to a glass. Uh, they should be away from each other or certain things to be close to each other or I want uh, that to stack objects on top of each other in a way that is stable. All of these constraints we want to consider while we decide where to place and how we place the object. Uh, and to solve that combined constraint a satisfaction problem is very costly for conventional method to try uh, this is a possible solution no it doesn't work there's a collision we need to reject that it's very inefficient so using diffusion models and composing uh, those trained for specific constraint type for example collision free or stable uh, we can solve novel problems given the new constraints in this particular setting and be able to solve that uh, so much faster and solve problems that are more complex than we'll ever be able to solve using conventional method. And we published this paper recently in Conference of Robot Learning, and it turns out like the logistics or um, like uh, people, the companies that are very interested in applying this method in their actual real world problems of how do you decide, oh, I have, an assembly, I have a belt of object coming in, which sequence should I place the object and where do I place it in a way that is more compact? Uh, and I'm very happy to see that, that people got interested in this. One of the concerns people have seeing this robot simulation data and task and motion planning is that uh, it requires a lot of prior knowledge encoded by the engineers who are specialists. So how can we use this kind of robot to solve everyday problems uh, instructed by other human beings? like they, uh, everyday problems describing natural language and be able to utilize all the common sense knowledge that is on the internet scale without the intervention of an engineer to encode the knowledge. So one of the problems I'm working on right now is to use pre-trained vision language models such as GPT-4 vision version to be able to distill the common sense knowledge of uh, what object should be handled which way and which object can be placed somewhere or not, which object can be found somewhere or not, uh, and all this uh, by, by integrating them into a task and motion planner. Because the planner is good at telling the robot how to move the arm and base in a way that it won't collide with the environment. The Asian language models aren't trade on those data, so they could tell us high level common sense knowledge and be able to propose partial plans of the sequence of actions to do and to help constrain our samplers to find a better place to put an object or better place, better place to look for the objects. But still we can retain the completeness of our planners and samplers in a way that is safe to execute in the world. After completing my PhD, I want to continue working on multi-step robot manipulation problems. And I see a lot of opportunities in the industries, not only in big companies, industry labs, and in startup companies. They are all moving towards having multi-purpose robot uh, that is closer to our uh, environments. And I can see that by utilizing the state-of-the-art machine learning methods and more of the uh, engineering, engineering not uh, experience that I'm going to obtain, uh, I can help making it the day come sooner where we will have service robots in our homes, in our uh, uh, elderly homes and in hospitals taking care of the uh, our aging generation and liberating a lot of the workers to do other jobs.